Hey family, how you doing? Is your brother Father Mary Tis? Peace to you, peace to your home, peace to your family, peace to your community, peace to your ancestry, peace to my community, peace to my ancestry, peace to the nation that you are and they are building. Peace also to the God of Force of the Great Spirit above the Mother below. This is in Team Marathi. This is actually going to be quick. I hope. Just got done recording an hour long video for you guys. Hour and ten minutes. So um, I have yet to watch, and I am going to definitely watch um, Nick Cannon's interview with. Professor Griff. I'm eager to watch it. I, I watched a clip of it on Roland Martin's show. And so I think it's something that I definitely want to, um, uh, I want to uh, take in. Now, I want to say at the outset, and I doubt Nick Cannon's going to even hear this, but I want to say it at the outset. Nick Cannon, if you are joking, are being a huckster, are selling a bill of goods that you do not mean to um, honor, the ancestors have something for you, and it ain't going to be good. They're tired of Negro, Black men and women playing with the cherished treasures of their voices you said a lot in uh, that little bit of clip that I watched and it's clear that you have an idea of some of the most prized scholars from our lineage it's clear that you have a concept of their work or that you have the concepts of their work that said too many people have misused these works and the ancestors ain't playing no more y'all keep thinking that you can do it so don't joke if you mean what you say and you really carry in that flame carry it and they will protect you. If you playing, they're going to make an example out of you. See, they don't got to make an example out of Diddy. Diddy's already been compromised and everybody knows it. Read the book. Let me go get the book. All right, I'm back. I have the book. Um, You want to get the book... Philanthro capitalism. Philanthro capitalism. And there's the author. Uh, Philanthro is P H I L A N T H R O dash C A P I T A L I S M. P. Diddy makes a small appearance in here. But it'll tell you who he is. So doesn't Oprah Winfrey. It'll also tell you who she is. Seriously. Not a long book. It looks a lot scarier than it should. It's less than 300 pages. And the lines. You know. Not, not, not a whole lot of writing on each page. Get that book. Second one you want to get. Is Plutocrats. Plutocrats. A good book. Um, we already know who he is. So they can't make an example out of him, even though that may happen too. But with Nick Cannon, see, they overstepped their boundaries when they killed um On him back. So they overstepped their boundaries when they killed Nipsey Hussle. They did. And, you know, they keep thinking there's going to be no consequences for what they do because, I don't know, they think they're untouchable. And it just, that time is over. 
that time is over. So they about to see how exposed they really are. And boy, so I'm just, I'm begging you, man. If you, if this is a game, back off, apologize to the black community, apologize to the ancestry and let it go. If it's not, man, here goes the boom boom. Because, um, you know, don't give validity to a man who don't deserve the validity. That's one P. Diddy. That's one P. Diddy. Um, and then two. Don't become a tool. Um, we are entering a new period, guys. We are entering a really new period. No. By the way, the reason why they're coming after Nick Cannon, let's say he's legitimate, is the same reason that they came after Reverend Jeremiah Wright. When Reverend Jeremiah Wright back in 2008 said they're coming after his tradition and they're talking about his mama's mama, he wasn't lying. They were coming after that tradition back then. Now they're coming after Francis Cross Welsing. John Hendrick Clark, Dr. Ben, um, Chancellor Williams. They're coming after all of them. That's what this is about. The little clip that I saw and uh, the response on Roland Martin's channel. I get it. You know, you got to suck up to your paymaster. But if your paymaster stops you from telling the truth, then he's an enslaver. The, the first woman who spoke talked about hotepery, 90s hotepery. I literally was like, what the F are you talking about? Ugh. These people are coming after, and I'm not talking here about Roland Martin and his band of Mary integrationists. No. These people, the other folks, are coming after our tradition. Because our sun is rising. And they want to, this is about framing our consciousness, ladies and gentlemen. This is about framing our consciousness. They want our consciousness to move in a way that enables them to shape our reality. And thus, it pushes us and forces us to um, construct a world that is in their image. The, the movie uh, Get Out, The Sunken Place, The Sunken Place, this is, this is, a, this is part of that, that mind control strategy. So they want you to think Francis Chris Welsing, John Hendrick Clark, Dr. Ben, uh, Chancellor Williams, uh, who else am I forgetting? They came before Columbus, that brother, um, Marimba Ani, uh, Asa Hilliard, and Walamu Baruti, um, you know, they want you to think, Albert Cleage, they want you to think that that mentality that fueled them shouldn't be continued. It's the same thinking that they utilize when they hide a significant portion of Dr. King's work. Note, most of what you see from Dr. King comes prior to 1964. And even a little bit that you see from 1964 is minuscule compared to what you see from 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. It's because they are afraid of 65 through 68. They don't want that in your mind. That was a very different Dr. King. In this age where we are seeing Black Lives Matter as a concept rise. I just heard, um, and I think it was Lisa Cabrera who talked about this, that George Soros is giving like $200 million to various Black Lives or racial justice groups. Now, I'm not a kind of guy that thinks people are evil just because they're giving out a bunch of money. But... 
I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. And I'm skeptical because when Soros jumped into the Malcolm, I think it was like the Malcolm X project of something, they were radical before he jumped in and gave them that money. And after he gave them that money, that radicalism decreased significantly. So I'm skeptical. They attacked Nick Cannon to stop you from even pondering, particularly a younger group of people. They they don't want a younger group of people learning about Francis Cress Welsing, even though the Webster, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary recently said, it's like a month ago, that they were going to change the definition of the word racism. And they said in their statement as to why they were going to do it is they said they had been contacted before by a woman who suggested that the the definition that they used bred confusion and that they needed a new definition that would um, clarify what racism really was. They didn't give a name. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, they were talking about Francis Cress Welsing. There was a video that she had posted or somebody had posted of her on YouTube. It's not up anymore. I watched it back in 2014. Yeah, 2014. She actually said that in the video. This was back in the 80s where she was trying to get them to change the definition of racism because it bred confusion. They do not want young people. They do not want young people to start to look into the past and start connecting to these names because it's in these names that our true consciousness resonates. It beats, not this garbage of intersectionality and, you know, oh, well, I'm a black feminist. Really? Feminists hated you in the beginning of all this feminist movement, and yet you were black feminists. Okay. Yeah. Tears that right up. I watched another video. Um, I have it somewhere. And the person who put it together was freaking genius. The beginning of the video was this absolutely stunning 1990s presentation of African um, cultural concepts as they should relate to black people utilizing them in America. On the later end, the, the second half of the video, <clears throat> excuse me, was this black woman speaking, this black feminist speaking, probably the early 2000s, about, I don't even freaking know what, to be honest with you. When you compared the two of them, because I think the black woman on the second half was trying to, like, uh, liken uh, feminism with blackness and Afrocentric concepts of womanhood or something like that. But when you compared the two, it was like fire and ice. Fire and ice. These people are motivating presently to convince black people that racism racism is paper thin all you have to do is just bring down some statues change the names of this building change the name of that team and racism goes away they don't want us thinking in another direction which includes self-esteem, self-worth that is not connected to this assimilationist principle and, and, and project. This was an attack on our history. And I just ask you something, you know, it's kind of ironic that his last name is Cannon. It's kind of ironic. Because they're firing on him right now. And the question is why? I watched a little bit of the end. The ancestors pulled me to a little bit of the end of the video. 
Um, I haven't watched the whole thing, but they took me to the end, and it was kind of ironic because um, Professor Griff was saying that he doesn't get invited onto, you know, many uh, documentaries or anything like that, but Nick Cannon wanted to meet him and wanted to talk with him. This is, again, why I say to Nick Cannon, man, don't be playing around. The ancestors will, ooh, they will make an example out of you. Not anything that I'm doing here, by the way. This isn't me. This is me telling you, though. They will, they're tired of that. But if it's true, if this is canon reaching out to Professor Griff for legitimate reason, That's all I'm going to say about it. <sighs> Questions, comments, concerns, leave it below. I'm your brother, Von Meredith. The ancestors are here with us. Peace.